Well, hello everyone. My name is Zachary O'Shea and this is Box of Teeth. We're working through a Universal Antagonist and his minions this month and I have another one for you today for a Dungeons and Dragons game right now. As a reminder, here in February, we're going over the Lodge Master, who is a demon that takes the shape of a distinguished older gentleman who is an avid hunter, a real man's man, and a real ladies' man, and sets up various hunting lodges, thus his name, that attract young men and from nobles and merchant classes, and teaches them how to be noble hunters and gentlemen, but in truth actually puts them into an infernal cult where they slowly but surely lose themselves to diabolic plans. Then they're unleashed to not only play their fellow nobles, but to make the common folk's lives awful as well. Today we're going to cover one of those cult members, which is the Lodge Devil Dog. But first, I want to remind you of the four sub-genres of horror that really the Lodge Master and his minions cover, which are corruption horror, class horror, body horror, and demonic horror. The class and corruption, I mean, there's upper crust people that have a really kind of toxic masculine way that they see the world, and the demonic and body horror for some pretty obvious reasons here. All that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the Lodge Devil Dog now. This Lodge Devil Dog is a senior member of the cult that relishes bloody melee combat. They are also no longer humanoid. Through devilish ritual, continuous cannibalism, and forbidden alchemy, they have transformed into monstrosities. Devil dogs are still able to pass for human most of the time, though their eyes take on a red canine appearance. Their hands become gnarled and almost claw-like, and their feet have the same sort of quality. Their nose tips blacken a bit, and their canines sharpen. Deep red fur cover their legs from the knees down. It's not uncommon for these lodge devil dogs to wear clothing that has been tailored to hide these aspects or take advantage of illusion magic for the very same reason. The lodge devil dog's diet is now strictly carnivorous. The lodge devil dog's mask is also now that of a fiendish hound. A lodge devil dog often has a bar geast, death dog, dire wolf, or winter wolf as a hunting companion. So let's take a look at this really nasty melee opponent statistics for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. The Lodge Devil Dog is a challenge rating 9 medium monstrosity who is chaotic evil. They have good hit points, an alright armor class, some saving throw bonuses, and the skills you would expect a skilled hunter to have. They also have resistance to non-magical weapons. Ability-wise, they have feral tread, so they ignore natural difficult terrain in forest and plains. They have gorilla, so they can use disengage and hide as a bonus action. They have keen hearing and smell, the pounce ability, and the surprise attack ability. And on top of all that, like other cult members, they have killer instincts. So when they attack a creature that has half hit points or less, their crit range becomes 19 to 20 instead of 20 alone. As they are obsessed with mainly combat, they do make a lot of attacks. In fact, they have four attacks they can make around, but it's all with a Lodge Blade, which doesn't do a lot of damage overall. They just get to attack fairly often with it. They do also carry a pistol. Again, this was made for a campaign where firearms were common. You could easily replace that with a crossbow or a hand crossbow. And they do have the usual parry reaction that can up their armor class against one attack. These are definitely some scary creatures to deal with that pack a lot of punch immediately and can do a lot of chip-off damage over time, and they give you an idea of what the cult becomes the further and further they move along it, and the fact that they are more demonic-looking monstrosities than people now. We'll be covering other variations of the upper ranks of the cult going on to kind of finish off everything. However, I hope you have enjoyed the Lodge Devil Dog. You can find it, the rest of the Lodge Master's minions, and hundreds of other horror-themed monsters for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition that are all perfectly free at boxofteeth.blogspot.com. If you're more interested in the non Dungeons and Dragons horror role playing projects that I have or the horror fiction that I write that includes grease paint right here, uh, no cults in here, maybe, maybe not, you can always go to www.zacharyoshea.com. As always, thank you for your time and your attention, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.